Worldofpoker.com in association with Virgin Games are proud to present the TV. Well, we've got a situation at the moment where Mark Greenwood would be putting in half his stack and he's only got about 25,000. The ball is 10, 5, 8, 10, queen, 2 spades. The guy straight underneath the camera. Has bet on the river. 11,000. Mark. No English. Mark. Mark thinks he's missed a flush. It's going to cost him half his stack. Mark's obviously hey, got something. Hey, hey. I don't think he's got a queen which has come on the river. Hey. I don't think... I don't think he's got a queen. Is he scared that the guy's hit the queen? Was he in front? I don't think he's got a tent. Or else he would have called. He's probably got the eight, but I think he might pass and show the eight. But whichever way, it's going to cost him. He's passed a five. <coughs> He's passed a five. The guy shows yeah, yeah. Ten, nine jack for eight, nine, ten jack queen. What a great, great, great read by Mount. Not to call. It was probably in front of the river. It was probably in front of the river. But the river was that killer. Well done for saving your stack. 44 left, 4 to the money. I'm just stood behind Michael Ferrari and I cannot believe he's gone all in with 43 players left. Three players do not get a dime. As soon as we hit 40, there will be an almighty cheer. But at the moment, there's 43 left, and Mikel has gone all in. The guy sat to his left is now seriously thinking about calling. He's thinking, he's got the card, he's best, can't believe it. Mikel Ferrari survives an all in call. 43 left, and he's turned over a jack. For the cameras, do we see the other one? Do we see the other one for the cameras? It's another Jack! Oh, it was miles in front. Mikel Ferrari survives. There we go, we're on Mark's table. Jack's against 9-8 and it's come 7 ace 4 The guy next to Mark is called Brian and he's... It's all over. Jack's ruled the day. He survived. The 9 comes on the end. But Brian doubles up and we're still on 43. They don't want to get uh, out of this building because the short stacks at the moment are doubling up. We have an all in and a call. The all in has got Ace Queen and he's been called by Ace Jack and it's from 10 for 9. It looks like a survival. It is definitely, unless. Ah, the 3 didn't come and the 8 didn't come. So the ace queen doubles up. We are still on 43. We have got the chaser all in on an 8, 9, 10 flop. The guy there bets first for 10,000 marks all in for his last eight. There's nothing he can do. This will be heartbreaking if he goes out. We are on 43 players. It would be absolutely heartbreaking. He's put up a tremendous performance. The guy's passed in C1. Look, C3 is called. We have got two players against Mark the Chaser Greenwood. Fingers crossed. We have hit a monster. I really hope he's played an absolute fantastic game for two days. There is nothing he can do now at all. I reckon they're both going to check it down, which they have done. Here comes the river. 
We need it to be very helpful. It's the tenor clubs, it's probably the killer. It's not the best card in the world unless he's got quad tens. I'd love somebody to have. Well, it doesn't really matter now, does it? I just hope Mark has got the winning hand. I know it's sounding biased, but he's played his arse out for two days. What has Mark got? Who wants it? Jack nine, pair of nines. Jacks. King Queen. Jacks have won it. Jacks and tens have trebled up. Mark has just won the hand, he's trebled up. Forget that, what a fantastic time to get a pair of jacks. He has just trebled up to about 30,000. What a star. I'm glad for you, you played your heart out for two days. I'm nearly in tears, it's that good. Mark, the chase of Greenwood. You're still in the hunt. Top man.